In this workflow, we will cover Weld to Seismic Tie, which is a major task done at the start of a project to determine which seismic event corresponds to which geological marker. In this exercise, we assume that all the input data for the tie have already been prepared. That include 3D seismic volume, the initial wavelet, the well data, and seismic horizon, which are optional. We launch the well to seismic tie model from the tree, right click on the well, then tie well to seismic, or from the analysis menu, wells, and tie well to seismic. We select the well F34, the 3D seismic volume for deep steered median filter. The logs will be density and sonic. Otherwise, the impedance log and geological markers, if available. Select the reference wavelet STAT 120. If there is none, we can create either a synthetic or stochastic wavelet from the Manage Wavelet menu or extract the wavelet from seismic and run. The well to seismic tie display window open. The markers are loaded by default. The first panel shows the extracted log, density and sonic. The second, the computed log, reflectivity and acoustic impedance. The third is the synthetic seismic, and the last panel shows the extracted seismic. We click on the 3D horizon icon to load the already mapped horizon, and we select the horizon demo 1 till demo 7. And OK. So they are displayed now on the extracted seismic traces. We can zoom in by using the middle mouse scroll button and pan by pressing the middle mouse button and hold and just drag up or down. Now we will try to match the event from the synthetic traces with the extracted seismic or vice versa. So we activate the pick mode icon. The cursor changed to a cross, which is the interpretation pick mode. Then we pick the event in the synthetic trace and try to match it with the corresponding event in the extracted seismic. You can optionally change your pick with clear picks or clear last pick. Once we finish picking the event, we can apply the changes to reflect on the display. If not satisfied, click on the undo to reverse to the most recent step. As the undo reverts back only one step, it is recommended to save the time depth curve from the icon ZT on the top right by selecting export and giving a name. You can call it time depth curve well F34 and just save. This time depth curve can be re-imported within the same window via the option import. We need now to quality control to check the cross correlation coefficient. So we compute the data between the marker FS11 and FS3 to define the window of interest. Notice that the cross correlation coefficient, the graph and the estimated wavelets are immediately updated. We can optionally switch to deterministic wavelet. The synthetic traces change in the main tie well to seismic window. The scalar applied to the seismic has changed as well, is about 0 0.99. So the objective is to test different parameters till you reach high cross correlation coefficient and that the uh, scalar applied to the seismic is near from 1. Once it's done, you can close the window, click on the save icon, 
that will allow you to save all the generated logs, acoustic impedance, reflexivity and synthetic as a log or as a seismic cube. You can save as well the initial and the estimated wavelet. This concludes the well-to-seismic tie workflow.